You know, I think every time I come out, it just gets more and more exciting as we see the progress. And it's really coming together quickly. Every time I come out, I can't believe how much has been done. But to see now the shape of the bowl, and it really looks like a stadium now, it just makes it all that much more exciting. We're over halfway complete and very excited about, you know, the fans finally getting in here. 2020, you know, it can't come quick enough. Very befitting of Los Angeles and just a great home for the Los Angeles Chargers. A new era of Chargers football will begin at the Los Angeles Stadium at Hollywood Park in 2020. Home to the Chargers and Rams, this state-of-the-art venue will be the entertainment and sports capital of the world and will host the Super Bowl and the 2028 Olympics. However, on Sunday, the spotlight will be on the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, as for the first time in 24 years, two LA football teams will go head to head. It's, uh, you know, the next one to schedule, you know, and that's just the way we approach every single game. Every game is a big game for us, so uh, it's a, an important game for us to go out and, and compete and win. Uh, I expect our defense to step up and play well and, and our offense to finish games. Let's talk about the Rams. They're averaging 34 points a game. You got to give them that, okay? 34 points a game is what they're averaging, and they got playmakers at every single level, okay? So you just got to be good in speed and space. What I want you to focus on this week it's just something real simple. Every man in the room, coaches and players, get better at something. Get better at something. If we all get better at something, come Sunday, we're going to be a better football team than we were last week. Some of the top playmakers in the game reside in L.A. In week three, Melvin Gordon and Todd Gurley will take center stage when the Chargers and Rams do battle. Coach, in terms of Todd Gurley, what is it that makes him so unique and special? You know, he can make explosive plays at any time, not only in the run game, but in the pass game. You look at his screens, you know, explosive plays off the screen game. So he's just a challenge in all aspects. When you, since the moment you got here at Melvin, where have you seen his game really, really develop? You know, Melvin's always been a good runner, but uh, just teaching him the different schemes that we're running, the run reads, the footwork, the aim points, all those little detailed things make a difference in what a back see. When Melvin see it and he's really decisive, you know, that's when he's at his best. Uh, his versatility in the passing game has been outstanding, so he's growing as a complete running back. Melvin Gordon is on a roll through two games, on the field and off. Bowling. See, I'm in lax mode. I got on the slippers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bag, bag. Hey, you did. Hey. My bag. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, back door. 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 Missed it. Oh, my God. Oh, my walk <laughs> I kind of found bowling, and you know, I just started from there. And then, you know, every once in a while, when I just want to kind of get away a little bit, I just come hit the lane. Hitting the lanes is something Melvin Gordon does for a living. The fourth year running back is trying to build off his first 1,000 yard rushing season in 2017. He's really worked hard to be a, a complete running back. The growth uh, he's making as a player, you know, on and off the field, I think it, it shows on the field. I think the, the way he approaches the game, the way he takes care of his body, I think with any young player, uh, you have to learn how to do that. I was just talking to Phil, and I was just letting him know it just feels different this year. You know, I don't know how, or I don't know in what way, but it just do, you know? We got a chance. Like, I always feel like we got a chance. Even that KC game, we were down, we just continue to keep fighting. I always felt like we had a chance until the clock hit zero. It's just different. One difference in this electrifying offense is the play of Austin Eckler, who has developed into a lethal running back that helps form a deadly combination out of the backfield. Back from the 25 outside the numbers, 20, lowers a shoulder and drives another Buffalo Bill out of bounds. Floats it up. It's caught. Eckler, touchdown, Los Angeles. I mean, you got a guy like Austin that 
can do a couple of different things and he's a great compliment to Melvin, it helps you. So, you know, the biggest challenge you face with those, with that situation is how do you get them enough carries? You know, the, the talent level shouldn't drop or the team shouldn't feel like it dropped, you know, when I get out of the game. Um, you know, he comes in there, he makes plays, he makes his plays. So, you know, credit to him, man. He's a hard worker, you know, so, you know, hats off to him. But, you know, we want to be the best duo in the nation. Live from the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, the first football contest between two teams in Los Angeles since 1994, the Chargers and Rams. Tangle has the Chargers offense behind Phillip Rivers and his 70 plus percent completion rate. Take on one of the most dominant defenses in the NFL. Big time for this big time game. Bring it in, baby. What you got? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Charge on three. One, two, three. Charge. Go, man. Run on the juice. Go on the juice. Go, man. Go on the juice. Go, man. Let's yeah. be special today. That's the only thing we can be. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, bro. Don't nobody believe in the run out here today. I feel like that's a challenge, bro. Every step y'all make, man, let's do this, shit, bro. I take pride in this, shit, bro. Who my dogs at? Who? What's the focus here for Anthony Lennon Company? Well, just get back to the basics and let's see Melvin Gordon going a little bit. It is Gordon cutting to the outside, slashing. Oh, Gordon goes airborne. First down run, impressive from Melvin Gordon. Derek Watt up to the backfield. Rivers, deep shot from Rivers, over the shoulder. Mike Williams, what a grab. Touchdown, Chargers. Let's go! 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 let us go let us Pass, you got me? You keep fighting your ass off. We get third down, we own it. Down 14 to 6, and the Rams offense threatening. The Chargers got a much needed joke from their first round pick. To the end zone, intercepted. Picked off by Derwin James, the rookie continues to impress. So he gets the ball. Only problem, he went out at the one, didn't stay in the end zone. I was out of bounds. What happened? Oh, I was out of the no, it was, it was my momentum carrying me because I had to travel so far to get to it. It was, I mean, I just, my momentum, I was trying to get the ball out of bounds, but. Was... You mentioned it though, that's tough. It's a tough break. You don't want to get mad at Derwin James makes an unbelievable interception, but if he just runs out of the end zone you're there. You're at the 20. You're and at the 20, you've got some room. Story. They're coming and they block it now. And they step on it, it's a touchdown. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. That ain't good enough, bro. Not at all. That ain't good enough. We here though. From the front to the back, we gotta tighten up. We will. Steve Bang, I need you. I need you, bro. We will. I need you, bro. We gotta go. We will. Soon. We gotta go, bro. We here, baby. We gotta go. Let's rock, man. With the Chargers down again by double digits, they call in their own workhorse running back. Keep this drive alive. They fake the jet sweep and give it to Gordon for a first down. And it's a pitch to Gordon. Work on the left side of that line. Trying to cut through. 10, 5, 3, 2, dive to the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers! Let's go, Let's go. I was waiting on Watt Block. I'm like, come on, Watt, come on. Y'all made that easy as f boy. Hell yeah. We're gonna win this now. We're gonna win this game now. Let's go. Let's put a fight back. Just a little adversity. We're gonna win this. After a Chargers turnover, the Rams capitalize to regain a two score lead. But for the second time, Rivers found Mike Williams who continues to thrive in this offense. And what do you do here? The Chargers have made their decision. They're going to go for it on fourth and short. Out of the gun. Rivers looking for it all. Caught extending. Mike Williams touchdown, Chargers. They take a risk, and it pays off. In the end, Mike Williams' two-score day was not enough. Now the Chargers must fight their way back to 500 the following Sunday against the San Francisco 49ers. Well, this should be real short. We didn't play good enough to win today. We can't give a team like that nothing. That offense was very good. We couldn't get off the field. We didn't put enough pressure on the quarterback. I think in the first half, he was completing about 90% of his passes. And we get a pump block. So, you know, we got some things to correct. And I, it's my responsibility, and uh, I'm, believe me, I'm going to make those corrections. Derwin has, you know, rushed the passer. He's played in the slot. He's played 
you know, back deep. But what's impressed you most? Well, he's, he's been working at it for quite some time, and we knew it was coming. And he's still not there yet, but, you know, he's doing more and more in this defense. And, and like you said, we can put him in different places. You know, it's, it's fun to watch because he can make plays. If you go back and watch him from Florida State, that's all the things he did, blitz, cover sacks, interception, things like that. And that, that's what we drafted him for, to come in here and do those things. And, you know, we didn't just give him the spot. He earned it. So for a guy to be able to come in and be able to do that right away, that's, that's definitely a blessing for us. It's my off day, man. Just at the house, relaxing my mind. You know, still still trying to, you know, get, get better in this matter. You know, I got to go and get these charges, man. I'm like unstoppable in this game right now. How about a four-tool safety? Well, you want him to be pretty good in run support, right? You, you want to be able to tackle in the open field. Uh, you want to be able to cover deep, right? And then you want to be able to rush the passer a little bit on a blitz? He's already one of the best safeties in the National Football League. That's how special he is. And last week, Gus Bradley, he said, all, all right, go. He, he him, cut him loose. Got to put 33 out here, man. 33. Oh, my gosh. They go to sack, man. <laughs> yeah, he looks just like me. That's me, man. All day long, man. Caught from behind. Derwin James is everywhere. That play was blown up immediately by a blitzing Derwin James. Two weeks in a row, he comes up with a sack from the safety spot. On third down. Got to the end zone. Intercepted. Picked off by Derwin James. The rookie continues to impress. What we're seeing is he does play fast. You know, whatever's on his plate, whatever you ask him to do, and, you know, he's going to go 100 miles an hour. Derwin James, the lengthy rookie out of Florida State, makes the play for L.A. See, Phil, no, all the chips. Oh, we're going deep. Tyrell out of there. Touchdown, first place. I told you our offense like unstoppable. You know, it's a long season. The coach always says it's a marathon. And, you know, we just got to continue to grow as a team. And I feel like um, these losses, as crazy as it sounds, but we're actually, you know, getting better from it and learning where we are as a team. And I feel like, um, you know, it's only going to help us in the future. Derwin James might be getting most of the attention but the Bolts have young playmakers all over the field. Thanks to the team's scouting department, led by general manager Tom Telesco and president of football operations, John Spanos. Telesco, the architect of the team and a football lifer raised in Buffalo, New York, he has built a foundation in Los Angeles that the Chargers will rely on for years to come. In week two, the Bolts traveled to Buffalo to play the Bills, a special homecoming for the general manager of the team. And Tom, special week for you, headed back to Buffalo, headed home, probably the place where you fell in love with football and you started your NFL career as an intern, right? 1991. Yeah, you know, when I started interning there, it, it wasn't because I was thinking about working in the NFL. It wasn't even something on my radar at all. I just wanted to learn about the game to make myself a better player. Telesco's love of football began as a young child in Western New York where he played wide receiver at St. Francis High School and later at John Carroll University. First of all, give me the Tom Telesco GM scouting report on Tom Telesco, the wide receiver. Technically sound, uh, knew my assignment, knew my alignment, knew my techniques, uh, very average speed, um, but I could catch the ball. And that's and that's what hands. you gotta do, you gotta, gotta catch the football. Anytime a chance to come back, see family really quick and I still know a lot of people here, have a lot of friends, so it's, uh, it's always fun to come back still. It's a blue collar town. Um, it's a tough, tough blue collar, hard working, but loyal. I think that's the, one of the bigger things. It's just, it's a loyal group of people. And that's, I mean, that's kind of the way I was raised. And I mean, you've heard before, like you can take the kid out of Buffalo, but you can't take the Buffalo out of the kid. That's, that's probably me in a nutshell. Usually on Saturdays, I try and get to a game somewhere, um, whether we're home or away, try and tie it into our trip um, and whatever else I have going on. So a lot of it's geography, like here, and because I had some work to do today, so I was kind of limited of where I could go. It had to be a night game, it had to be relatively close. 
Like this, this, this Mac conference, they've had a lot of good players in the last 10 years. I mean, we, we know about Khalil Mack. And I always tell the scouts, I said, if there's good players in Buffalo, I said, we better know them. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, I'm Tom Telesco. Hey, John Fuller. Hey, John, how you doing? I came, I came last year. You guys played uh, Western Michigan. That's right. Because I know you're from here. But yes. Were you playing the New York like, Giants? You were playing the Giants or, or right, Jets, right. yeah. So whatever you need. Have you ever walked to get stuff out of you food and drink and stuff out of the yep. best box, you're welcome to use that. Great. So, okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Telesco's background is in scouting, and today he goes back to his roots. The youngest general manager in Chargers history joined the team in 2013 after spending 15 seasons with the Indianapolis Colts. Gibbo, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Good, good. Hey, Coach. Tom Telesco with the Chargers. How you doing? Nice to meet you. You're doing a great job. So you're just checking this and then obviously tomorrow. Yeah, we got the game tomorrow. Anything I can do. Same here. Same here. Yeah. Oh, thanks for having me. Thank you. Every person's journey begins somewhere. And Telesco's began at New Era Field back in 1991. Now he returns to a stadium he once called his home. How you doing, man? Good How to doing? see you, man. Good. good. You. How you doing? How's good. the family? Good. good, good. Welcome home. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to come home. Yeah, huh? it is. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing well, good. man. You still working out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same place? Same place. Good. Yeah. Good. Same routine. <laughs> good. Yeah. Keep track of my dad. All right, well, good luck. Yeah, morning. good seeing you. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Great, good. Good. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to meet you. Good. 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 All right, we love you. Right. Love you, too. Good luck. This segment of Backstage Chargers is brought to you by Ticketmaster. And this team right here is very similar to us coming into this year. They won five straight last year to finish the season. Everybody's talking about us and this team at the end of the year last year. We come into this year, we're both one and two. We're in the same boat. One of us is going to come out of this thing. So I know we all have that will to win. But let's have that equal will to prepare Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday so that when we go out there on Sunday, okay, we finish the last quarter of our season at 500, and then we start all over again. Week four presents a golden opportunity for the one and two Chargers. In Phillip Rivers' 200th career game, the team eyed an even record through the first quarter of the season. Go five, and out, and beat. Go, baby. Go. Good. 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 Great. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Russ. Let's go. Let's go, Russ. Here we go. The 49ers jumped out early with a two score lead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. But the Chargers answered right back. Down to 10 from the 25. Rivers looking to go deep, and he finds on an out route Keenan Allen for a first down. Good. Rivers wants to go back to the air, looking for Antonio Gates. He's got it. First 14 plays, Chargers at 30 yards. They got 45 in the last three, and they added their total with Tyrell Williams. And the Chargers faced with third and goal. Melvin Gordon at the bottom of your screen. Rivers looking his way. Now shakes him off and a wide open gates for the touchdown. Yeah. Nice job. When you stumbled, I got my eyes off of it. Hey, we're all right. I threw a ball to them for a touchdown. We're fine. 17 to 6 in favor of the Niners. Rivers to Keenan Allen. Shotgun snap passing down, looking to the right, throwing to the right. And there's Tyrell Williams with the grab extension and a beautiful what play an by Tyrell. That is all effort. Three left, two right, right sideline is Austin Eckler. That's where he's looking. Going up top for Eckler, who is near the goal line. Caught. Touchdown, Woo! Chargers. Yeah, Heck yeah. Now the Chargers going to go for two. Hey. Hey, hey, shotgun, Ray, 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 Delta! Rivers to Gordon, Gordon is in, the two-point conversion is good. Way to make it work. Hey, not, great job on the third down, great job. 
Good reach, bad reach, I don't care, great reach. With the score tied at the half, the Chargers looked for their first lead of the game. Going left for Tyrell, makes the adjustment over the top of Jimmy Ward. Terrible throw, great play. 48, Delta Thompson! Gordon trying the left side, hit by Malcolm Smith, he bounces off of him, and Gordon still going, still on his feet. What a run from Melvin Gordon. That's what I'm talking about. Five yes. seconds on the play clock, looking to the right, still looking to the right, oh. throwing to the right underneath, has Melvin Gordon, touchdown, Chargers. Yes! Woo! I owed you, I owed you that one. Huh? Yeah, I owed you that one, I missed you. Oh, oh, I owed you bad. That was going to be a walk-in when I was... We got to play. We got to play. First and goal for the Niners. Beathard throws the flip and picked off. It's Trevor Williams with blocking. Williams still in bounds and still going. Williams finally tackled inside the five. The Niners countered with 10 unanswered points, meaning once again, Phillip Rivers and the offense needed a big time drive. It's off to Gordon here, following the block of Tyrell Williams. Gordon cuts it upfield. Melvin Gordon still going. It's still going. Gordon is finally brought down inside the five. 21 yards away. Stretches is good. Up to and under four minutes to play. A defense playing without star defensive end Joey Bosa for the game on ice. Pressure coming, he's hit, and it's picked off! Isaac Rochelle! Rochelle, Rochelle, with his first career interception! How do you like that? Final score, LA Chargers 29, San Francisco 49ers 27. Last week, big dub. What did I say? I said I wanted to come in this locker room and say that we got a team victory. That was truly a team victory in all three phases, man. Y'all stepped up. And we went through that roster on Wednesday. We knew how talented that football team was. We were ready to play for four quarters. And that's what you did. You showed up and you played for four quarters. I want you to enjoy this today. We'll make corrections tomorrow. Let's break it down, uh, Damien Square. Yeah, Charges on three. One, two, three. Charges.